The biggest issue a lot of people face uh, while using Substance Painter is exporting texture sets. Okay, so let's say you have different objects here. So I have this base and it's got a different UV space, but still the same object and a cushion or just the seat itself here. I have different UV sets and exporting both of them with all this channels checked would give me about 10, text, uh, 10 textures or 10 materials instead of just five for each map. Okay, I did write a Photoshop plugin to fix that, but so just so you know what I'm talking about, open up this UV map here. So you see that I kind of have a UV set for that single object. And then for both of them, let's see. So both of them combined, they're in a, they're different spaces. So I just wanted a single UV set after painting. Okay. So you don't get that with this substance painter UV sets. Okay. But they do have a Photoshop, uh, export to Photoshop plugin here. So this helped me out a bit while I was actually making my own plugin to merge those textures. So I'll just select base and normal color for both of them. It takes a lot of, uh, takes quite some time to open up so let's just use both of them okay while we're waiting you could go to my github i've posted on there it's open source you could contribute to it i'll add a license there in a bit but just go ahead and download the jsx file that's all you need All right, so that's done. So we have the cushions base color. We have the steels base color, normal maps and stuff. Okay, normal workflow would be to copy all the layers here, kind of hold shift, drag it to this tab and drop it. Okay, and place that and maybe you would try to export it and you know give it a different name. So it's just one texture. But the problem with that is you would have to do it for all five maps. Okay, that's really time consuming if you're trying to get some work done. And for the normal map workflow, you would have to actually turn this off. I don't really have a normal map here, but you would have to turn off the background before just grabbing these two layers and pasting it on here. Okay, having a duplicate background would cover this right here. Okay, so you just turn that off first. So that's what this plugin kind of does for you. It automates that process and just makes your life easy. Okay. So once you've downloaded the plugin from my GitHub, just go to file script, browse and look at where the file is and just run it. Just let the magic happen. It's going to ask if you want to save the changes, probably should or not. It's still going to give you this file stuff, but and you could save it on your own. I'll just hit yes. And that's it. Let's go to file here. Save as. Try to copy that link. No, it's fine. All right, so we have our final texture set. It has been collapsed and just export it as PNG file. So that's definitely going to save you a lot of time if you're working with Substance Painter. Go ahead and check it out. Download it on my GitHub. And don't forget to star or like and subscribe and stuff. All right. Thanks.